So this is our current state of repository. Here we have just a simple, simple repository having all these multiple folders. Now in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to introduce the PNPM workspace and the NX Mono repo. NX is just a tooling, and the PNPM is the workspace solution provided by PNPM package manager, like NPM workspace, Yarn workspace. There is something called PNPM workspace. So first of all, we'll try to understand what all these things are. I already created a playlist which talks about the workspace and uh, the monorepo tools. So what is monorepo? Monorepo is just a single repository that contains multiple applications. So rather than splitting each and every service into a different repository, we can merge all these things together and we can even link the dependencies, shared dependencies and we can use those dependencies locally without publishing a package to npm or github repository. So I mean, uh, there are disadvantages also, you need to manage the CI CD a little different way because you have multiple folders and you are not deploying each and every service. So the advantage is easy code sharing with the shared packages. No need to wait until you publish that package to the NPM. Everybody can see the changes. Most of the big companies and the frameworks are using these monorepo solutions and NX turbo repo like PNPM workspace. So workspace is another thing and the mono repo solution like turbo repo, NX, Larna, all these are mono repo solutions. And then they can be built on top of these workspace like NX, like PNPM, Yarn and NPM workspace. So PNPM is a, so now what is the workspace? Workspace like you can use NPM, PNPM and Yarn. So PNPM is a fast and using one store to, to, to put all your dependencies and then when you need it, you can use those dependency in your local package. So it's like a centralized store. It is creating to manage all your dependencies and then it is doing linking. So what we are going to do here in this is we are going to implement a PNPM workspace in our this repository code. And I was recording this and then I forgot to turn on the audio. Some part I have already done. So I will explain this for you. So we need to create a PNPM workspace.yml first. So what we are doing here is this will tell us, okay, whatever we are putting inside a packages and apps will be a part of this PNPM workspace. These are the two main folders. So I have moved all our folders like uh, gatekeeper, restaurant. I mean, the names were different. I rename all these names like Swiggy UI, uh, microservice. This is, I think, restaurant service. This is actually React app and this is the restaurant service and gatekeeper service. Okay, so it's like a Swiggy app, React app we are using here. This is our restaurant service. This is our gatekeeper, which is just doing uh, validating the token. Okay, and these are the packages. We will add some packages later. And this is my package JSON, which is the uh, root dependencies, which I have added. And what is this package JSON? This contains common linting, uh, common dependencies which which you might be adding everywhere in the, all the packages like the prettier, the husky, uh, prettier plugins, ESLint plugins and conventional commit plugins, commit gen and TypeScript plugins for enabling the ESLint because TypeScript ESLint parser, TypeScript ESLint ESLint plugin, all these are common dependencies I added at the root. So what I will do is now I will just do pnpm install so it will install these dependencies and also install all the dependencies which are available in the packages or the applications packages is an empty in the applications we have a couple of applications like gatekeeper restaurant service and the swiggy app which is react app we are going to add a couple of more services and more app like let's say next js app for the admin dashboard and order service card service those will be a next js service so what i'm doing here is instead of manually updating each and every package JSON dependencies, I'm just removing all the dependencies which we have and just putting the compatible dependencies which we want to move. So let's say this is a React app, I think. Swiggy app package JSON. So it is using some old dependencies which I'm not interested in. So what I will do is 
I will just remove all the dependencies and now what we are going to use is uh, tailwind typescript react 18x so react version is 18 dot x tailwind tailwind and obviously the tailwind react typescript so if you want to use react with a typescript then you need to use this cracko script if you remember to enable this uh, tailwind configurations with the react typescript you need to use the cracko package maybe there may might be some other solution now and then obviously some redux react redux toolkit all the de 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 these dependencies we are going to add so these are primarily the dependencies we will be having okay so what i will do is i already have uh, examples example dependencies i will just use them so this is my package json for the swiggy app this is a react app right i will just say swiggy app and here it is not having much react post css auto prefixer because tailwind needs that and if i start installing the post css there might might be a version issue post css 7 doesn't support uh, react typescript tailwind then there is obviously a whole lot of struggle so i'm just moving all these dependencies in for the react app and for the nest js apps i have this one package json which i'm going to use across all the dependencies all the the services and then we will just keep and keep whatever is needed and we will remove whatever is not required it is using nestcs 9.x so we don't need to upgrade it manually so gatekeeper service restaurant service okay, this is my package json so this is restaurant service so first of all eats restaurant sorry swiggy and then another service we have is a gatekeeper so gatekeeper service package json i think there are some explicit dependency about firebase admin rest all are common dependencies i will just keep uh, that we need firebase admin as a dependency here and this is auth service let's say and we need to add the firebase admin also here i will just check the version name firebase admin 9.6.co i will add that so this is our dependency so gatekeeper service i will move these docker utils outside because we don't need here So we are going to have a docker compose files because we need docker containers gatekeeper service i think for gatekeeper service we these dependence these all these dependencies won't be needed so we will remove them currently we don't have packages so i will remove those dependencies and this gatekeeper service So what all main dependencies you see uh nest js core common these are the some of the con common dependencies which you will use in all the applications event emitter jwt no passport we don't need swagger we may need typo rm if you are dealing with the database class validator transformer is fine express is fine helmet okay typo rm we don't need here okay now we have a clean uh, dependencies for this one if we have a database then we will keep it otherwise we will remove these dependencies these scripts so this is our auth service now uh, restaurant service restaurant service has a lot of other things like the database and authentications and all logic so restaurant service config core types we will add these packages so common core dev tool integration we don't need event emitter jwt passport we don't need because we are not writing any authentication mechanism here 
we crypt we don't need typo rm we may need debug helmet json web token no module alias no moment js no for now passport passport jwt postgres yes if we are using typo rm we need these dependencies rcs swagger ui typo rm okay this dependency is also clean we may decide okay which package we want to use from here because uuid is fine winston if we are using some kind of a logging let's keep it for now but now we are down to just very less packages right helmet is for security express bc auth is for used for exposing your swagger docs and keep it uh, protected with the bc authentication swagger terminus for health check core common config all are required packages so we are left with only the required things and we have removed the unnecessary packages swiggy app which is the react app i hope now this is also kind of clear we will just remove a couple of uh, more files all these prettier and all these configurations we will take these to the root level okay and this is our package json and this is the workspace yml so what we need to do is at the root level what else we need maybe obviously the prettier rc eslint rc prettier ignore and all these files let's add them so now we have all the, the required files i just added the prettier rc eslint rc and uh, now we'll just remove the package log file which to which we have inside all these uh, applications if we have it okay so things are clean we can just do pnpm install so what it is doing it is first of all checking all the dependencies all the package json this is a root level package json private true this is a local workspace and we will we have also added nx nx is just like a tooling which we are adding on top of that nx monorepo tooling that will help us to automate the task and we can add these appropriate uh, package names sorry application names so inside package json we have added auth service that is fine here inside package json we called it as a the restaurant service and this is our swiggy app so here swiggy and this is the ui app end user facing application and once the install is done you will see pnpm workspace the pnpm lock file which contains all the dependencies in all these different packages this is on the root this is for the gatekeeper service this is for the restaurant service this is for the swiggy app right these are the three different applications we have we don't have any packages yet which we can add here inside our packages all the reusable piece of utilities components storybook all those things you can do inside our packages so now you can see node modules has been populated here same with here same in the gatekeeper service and you see some conflicts because peer dependencies is not matching we need to with the ts jest we need to use the jest 17.x webpack 5 these are warnings but it's good to resolve them this cracko 6.4.5 is not compatible with the react script 4.0.0 found 5 maybe we need to upgrade the cracko config because currently we are using react script 4 but we are i mean 6.4.5 is compatible with 4.0.0.2 but we are using 5.x so we need to upgrade the cracko react script so all these dependencies are not compatible which we can upgrade before we talk about the next video okay so now i'm going to add nx so for that nx uh, what we are going to do is let's talk about a little what is nx monorepo solution okay so this is how we create nx workspace and there are two different type of uh, workspace you can create package based or integrated repo currently we are talking about the package based monorepo and for, for package based monorepo in most of the solutions you will have nx.json file i came here to copy that json file
okay task runner options and extends builds on okay let's go back to this now nx console getting started uh, we need to open the so we have done the all the dependencies right pnpm workspace yml and it has all the packages in. this is my root packages and file so if i want to build all the the packages all the applications and packages i can use this pnpm command pnpm run build so i will just do npm run build all obviously it will fail because uh, we don't have all the things added we need to i need to resolve a lot of things right restaurant service is not having the build command ts config build json because i copied the package json and i didn't specify how to build it so inside this build script npm run build we are passing ts config so i'll just pass ts config json So this is the restaurant service, gatekeeper service might have the same issue. tsconfig json. Let's run these commands again and we will have some configurations and some build issues which I need to fix. This is talking about the cracko config. Okay, we need to have a cracko config.js file for the react app. Otherwise it, will, it won't run, right? So this is our swiggy app. So if I need to little bit Google around. So I have added some configurations like NX JSON file. This is simple NX JSON file to enable the NX tooling on our monorepo all these uh, so once you have an JSON file which is nx monorepo i can use this nx console and i can see all the different projects like these are the different projects we have right with their scripts you just select the workspace after enabling the nx json and then you have this is the react tab this is auth service this is the restaurant service and i can just build any of this simply even you click on build it will start building the restaurant service and I know there are some build issues which I need to resolve okay lots of dependency issues which I need to fix this is I can build the auth service here okay firebase admin is missing there I will get that installed swiggy app that is the react app which is using cracko config swiggy app build okay we have both ts config and gs config json okay that's true we need to remove one of it ts config why i need it and then i will do the build again we will see some other error okay at least it is starting the optimizing the build and started doing some build obviously we will see some build errors because the dependencies are not uh, totally there we are using tailwind so i what i did is i copied my default tailwind config this is my tailwind config this is my cracker config which requires a tailwind css and auto prefixer okay and i need to clean up this react app once we are done with this obviously it will fail because we are not using react router dom i need to upgrade the react router dom also because they have now v6 version of react router i need to clean up these dependencies so this video is only about how to set up a pnpm workspace what all different files you need for pnpm you need pnpm workspace with these two folders you can link any of the dependencies like inside a packages we are going to create let's say auth package logger package config package database package and we can use that those packages across any of the microservice we are going to build here let's say i created a simple 
components which I wanted to share across the next JS Embed app and the React app. I can just put it here inside the packages and I can use them in both the applications because now it's a reusable package. And that's part of the workspace. So for the locally using these packages into one another is easy without publishing. And then I added this NXJSON. Added this dependency NX, NX dependency first of all 15.8.0 and then NXJSON which enabled this uh, NX tooling for me. You can see all uh, you can just target a particular script all those things are available here. Run many if you want to run the build command on all it will execute the build command on all the applications and the packages we have in the in this particular folder right and we have lots of errors which we need to fix okay so this is all about the simple setup what i will do is first i will clean up this and i will just baseline this repository and i will some push this to the github so whatever we had till now will be available for the exploration